it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing our laundry slash mudroom tour. We have been working on it for a couple of weeks now and I'm so, well, actually it's only been one week. Has it only been one week? It's been one week, it's crazy. And this room has changed completely. It went from a room that was really not functional for us. We had a bunch of dated cabinets on the wall that we just like crammed a bunch of junk in, honestly. And we took out all of the cabinets. My husband built an amazing little like mudroom area, so it's way more functional. We have a family of six, and with all of the winter gear, the boots, the hats, the coats, everything, it was just becoming too much so we created a solution and this room has become just so much more functional in the process of building that we also kind of updated our laundry area as well it's been a fun process it's been a I feel like it's been a long process but it really hasn't um, but I'm just really excited with how it all came together so today I'm gonna be sharing a tour my husband has the kids in the living room playing toys so I think it's the perfect opportunity to walk you through really quick the biggest change that we made in here was adding this hall tree. It is custom built by my husband and dad. I basically found a picture online of something that I thought would work out well for our family. And then we brought it to the local lumber yard here with the dimensions or the measurements that we needed. And they were amazing at helping us get all of the materials that we needed delivered right to our home. That like saved us for sure. And then we borrowed some tools from our neighbors to get it accomplished because we aren't very project savvy here, I will say. So we definitely were able to do it. It did take a full day, morning to midnight, to get it done. And then it took me an additional couple of days to paint everything the way that we wanted. We painted all of it white. We did go ahead and add these bronze um, little hooks here. We're actually missing one. They only sent us five and they have the other one on order. So when we get that, we will add the sixth one. And then we did go ahead and add the barnwood bit to the back. This is like a manufactured, wipeable, durable barnwood on the back. So that's perfect in here. I'm so happy that we upgraded to that. It was an upgrade for sure to our budget, but it was totally worth it. It just really adds some visual interest to this area and we just could not be more happy with it. So we have three cubbies on the top. We have a hook for each member of our family. We have a nice little bench. I believe you can call it a boot bench, I've heard, but I just like bench. I don't know, boot bench sounds weird to me. But we have this nice bench. I did go ahead and stain that. That is in the color Kona. I can link what I used below. I'll try to link as much as I can down below in the comments if this is something you're interested in doing. These bins here, each person in our family has a bin underneath where we store a lot of our hats and shoes and things like that. And those gray bins are actually from Target. We had these before, so we just made sure to measure and make sure that the cubbies were big enough to fit the organizers that we already had. So they're gray, I love those, and we accented the floor with a gray rug as well. We definitely needed a rug in here, so we got this a very affordable runner from Target. This is what it looks like when everyone has all of their stuff in here. Still plenty of room. It does not seem like cramped or anything like that. But on the top shelf, I store like my winter gear. That bin is actually empty. These are super inexpensive bins from Target, by the way. Um, I store my purse up here for now just because it was an empty space. So that might not stay there. But for now, that's where I'm kind of putting it out of the way. In here, this is just for decoration, the clothespins, I don't really use those. And then this is an olive bucket from Menards originally, but I store umbrellas in there, so that worked out really well. And then this is my husband's cubby, he has his golf hats in one, and then he has his winter gear in the other. So, works out well, we definitely have room to grow still up on the top shelf, which is always nice. We each have our own hooks here with our coats, we store snow pants, coats, and then the kids have their bags that they bring to school with all of their snow gear in it, so they just fit so well. We still have room to sit. And it's actually taking some getting used to to walk in here to get ready for the day or to leave. It's, It's been an adjustment trying to remember to come in here and not the other way. And then all of us have our bins of our shoes and hats like Madden's under his hook and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. 
before all the updating, we just had a shelf that was over our washing machine. We added these two cabinets from Home Depot. They were very inexpensive. They are very basic cabinets. They're perfect for a laundry room or closet, so they work out well. But I store all of my detergents in wash, like um, a cloth that I use for cleaning and things like that. It's not 100% organized how I like it, but it works for now. The things I don't get need to get to every day are on the top shelf. On the other side, I just have towels and cloths right now. This side I don't really have organized the way I like it at all, but it works for now. On the wall next to the cabinets, I just have this little cube shelf. I got this from Decor Steals. It is a website. It's like a daily deals home decor website. I am obsessed. I check their deals every morning. Well, anyways, I had one of these. So I hung it on the wall. I already had this, which I had purchased off of Mercari, also available on Etsy. There's so many cute little laundry room signs you can buy these days. And then this little julep cup I actually thrifted in one of my Goodwill challenges, and I just added a sprig of lamb's ear from Hobby Lobby. I just cut it into smaller little pieces to fit in my cup. So I wanted a little bit of greenery over here, and I think that turned out so cute. We do have a little bit of room in between our dryer and the wall where I store one of our um, step stools that I use for, I don't use it very often so it's fine, kind of just tucked back there for now. We have our washer and dryer in the same spot that it was before, just kind of tucked back. We did have a pedestal built by my brother right when we moved in here and we've had it like this for years. Underneath I have laundry baskets, I have one for adult clothes, one for kids clothes, and then one for towels. Just because I use different detergents depending on what I am washing, so that's how I have that. And they just kind of slide right under there so it is nice so you don't see them. They're tucked away. Who wants to see dirty clothes, right? And then over here on this wall, this is probably one of my favorite parts besides the hall tree, of course, is this little nook right here. I wanted to make sure to add a countertop to have some sort of workspace or like a drop zone really where our garage door is right outside of this. And so when we walk in, it's just a nice place to maybe put set something or whatever. Um, I can also fold laundry here, which is the plan as well. Um, but I just really wanted a countertop over there. So what I decided to do, instead of like spending a ton of money on cabinetry and a countertop, this is actually a kitchen island. I bought it off of Walmart's website. It was actually in a different color that I painted. It had more of a natural wood color, but I wanted it to have the kind of the dark finish that we had on our bench over here. So it would all kind of tie together. And I just really loved the green. I'm really into green right now. So it just works out so well. We have so much storage and I also get my countertop out of the deal. So some of the baskets are empty right now. Like this one is pretty much empty. I have one thing I need to return. This is a hearth and hand basket that is in Target right now that I love. It's beautiful black. This basket just has, this is kind of our um, junk basket. <laughs> I don't no other way to put it like things like the kids collect or whatever goes in there also the kids socks my kids sometimes take off their socks and when we're heading out to the door we need socks and they don't have any so it's just kind of right here just I tell them go to the socks box and see if you have a pair of socks down here this basket I already had but I have all of our paper products in here once we finish our pantry I'll move this over to there but like paper plates and cups and silverware is kind of in there. It's kind of a random spot, honestly, but once our pantry's done, it will move in there. In the bottom drawers, I just have like random cloth diapering things and then my, my snow pants and my husband's snow pants go in that drawer as well. There is some additional storage in the back that I am not using, but it's definitely there if I need it, so that is nice. So I did go ahead and gel stain this. This was my first time gel staining. This actually used to be a butcher block but I decided to gel stain it. Um, we aren't going to be using this for food preparation or anything like that, so I did the gel, and I am very happy with how it like turned out. I had never done it before. I was really nervous that I was going to ruin it, but it did turn out okay. I got it. It was the Minwax gel stain from Menards is what I ended up using with a polyurethane top coat, so definitely no food prepping going on this. It's purely for folding laundry and dropping things or setting things in here. One of my Target little tiered trays, which still is, it's not decorated. I'll probably just collect things here and there or just make it a useful like 
thing like mail can go there I don't know yet but it's so cute I had to have the spot for that and here you guys know I love my tiered trays we also had this already in here so I just hung this back up I got this off of Amazon but it holds all of our plastic bags that we get this sign I also had in my old laundry room, so I just reused it. They do sell it at Hobby Lobby still. I did just see it, so I love it hanging here. Before, I didn't have anything hanging on this wall. I just had my um, rack for hanging clothes, but I decided, you know what? I want to hang the sign right here. Let's jazz up the space a little bit, and the space just makes me so happy. Like, I actually want to come stand here and work, so I'm loving it. And this is our missing socks basket. This is also a hearth in hand. It matches the other one that I have on the shelf there, but all of our missing socks that need a buddy go right into that little basket. Let me know. Do you have a missing socks basket? Because we do. <laughs> And then this is a new from Kirkland's. I actually did a shop with me video which will be coming on my channel this week But I picked this up at Kirkland's because it was the perfect size and exactly what I was looking for in here It's part of their modern farmhouse collection and it's perfect so like you could use this thing anywhere But I thought that it was best in here for catching um, Random stuff if we needed to in that top bucket in here I haven't quite decided what I put want to put in this one yet um, but I just put some hand sanitizer. I might put like some hand wipes for the kids. Things that are nice to have like right when we walk in the door from being gone. And I just have my hand cream in there. After folding clothes I always have to put lotion on. And then down here on these hooks I have my extra set of keys and this lamb's ear wreath. It's like a mini wreath from Kirkland's. I just thought it added kind of a nice pop of color to all of the black that I had going on over here. So that cute little wreath hangs there. I can move it around if I need to, but I just thought I would put it right there because we don't have five sets of keys to hang on here. So it works out. In this little nook right here, ultimately I would like to do like a rolling laundry basket. So as I'm taking it out of the dryer, I can just roll it over here and then fold it on the counter. But for now we are cloth diapering, so this is our cloth diaper bin that the dirty ones go in. So once the twins are out of diapers, we can get rid of that and put a little basket. But for now we're doing a cloth diaper bin. This is a simple human trash bin. I can link it below. It's amazing. We ha I think all of our garbage cans are simple human because they are great quality. I've had that for five or six years and it's still going strong. And then we put a boot tray down here for our larger like winter or rain boots. So we have a spot for those. And then this stool I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby. I did vlog or share this in the vlog already, but I will talk about it again. But this is a cute little like farmhousey stool from the Hobby Lobby spring collection right now because I needed to be able to reach some of the top shelf sometimes. And I, I tried to reach, I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'8", but I can't get to them. So I wanted to have that stool here and then the kids can also use that. The twins can't climb up here themselves yet to sit. So it works for many ways. And they also like to help mom when she's working at the counter. So we've gotten a lot of use out of that stool already. So that is the stool and this little nook right here. So this area will probably change, but for now it's housing diapers and boots and a stool. Moving up from my laundry folding station, we will call it, is this wire shelf. We actually installed this when we moved in, so I decided to reuse it again. I didn't really see anything else that I really had to have in here, so just decided to use what we already had here. So we can put, we hang dry all of our shirts basically, my husband and I, so I use this quite a bit. So I leave that open and ready for clothes and then our extra hangers. And then I think I got this off of Amazon a long time ago. And then the baskets up here fit perfectly. Now this is kind of a narrow shelf, but I did find these at Hobby Lobby that fit perfectly. I wanted some tall baskets that you could hide things in. This one's actually empty, so we have additional storage available in there. And then that one actually holds, you can see some straps hanging out. I didn't do a good job putting them in there. Um, but that holds like all of our re reusable bags, our travel bags, things like that, that we would need as we're heading out the door up there. And then on the door, I just painted the door obviously white. It used to be oak. 
I had this organizer before that I just put Bailey's dog leash and some of her dog things that she needs up in there. And then we have some additional hooks so if we had guests or whatnot, they could hang some things on there. And this ironing board I actually want to get rid of because I don't use it very much. It's old, it's discolored, and I think it's from Ikea, but it is a full size. We don't need a full size. I don't iron very often. We could totally get by with a smaller one. So I do have it in my plans to look for a smaller ironing board, but for now, this one just kind of hangs. And when the door is open, it just kind of tucks behind the door with no issues at all. We definitely wanted to use a vertical storage as well just because we did eliminate a lot of cabinets on this side and I think it just came together so well. We are just so pleased with this room. I enjoy coming in here to work on laundry or when we are getting ready to head out for the day. It's just an amazing space and I'm so excited excited for it you guys I love it it's gonna go ahead and wrap up the tour I hope you enjoyed it make sure to leave me a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already our next project we are going to be working on our pantry and I'm excited to share that with you as well so thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video bye